So far, what we looked at are systems where parameters are fixed throughout the entire time period. Now, what if some of these parameters are actually changing over time because of other things? Now, one case could be that we have these matrices here, say the observation equation here is no longer just something. It could be in a linear regression where the x input here is here, but you have what you make is a model here for the parameters. So you have a model here that resembles theta in a linear regression model, and then you have the regressors here in your C, and you update them with the corresponding values at each point in time. So it could be you want to estimate a straight line at every point in time, and how you do that is basically you have to give a, one, a column of 1 to get the intercept, and then you have to give a column of whatever predictor is used to get the slope corresponding to that, and then we can estimate that and filter that through the data if that's what we like to do. Now still, we will assume that these things, these coefficients are known in advanced, should not depend on xt as such, because then it becomes a nonlinear system, and that's another course. So the Kalman filter, when you have time-varying systems, it's basically just the same. The only difference that we have here is that everywhere where there used to be just an A or B, now there is a time index corresponding to what is the appropriate parameter to use at this point in time. And that's the only difference. So basically, it's a lot of bookkeeping when you implement this, but besides from that, it's just adding more flexibility that you can use if you know what you're doing. <laughs>